thumbnail is a representation of your video when it is not playing. When you share a YouTube video on WhatsApp or Facebook, it shows a thumbnail, means an image of the video with the title. And when YouTube recommend your video, it shows thumbnail title, correct? So basically, the thumbnail is the first thing that users see in your video. And this is why a thumbnail is very important. Especially to improve your CTR, thumbnail is the most important element. If your thumbnail is looking good, then people might click on your video if it is looking good. Or when you are sharing your video on WhatsApp or Facebook, by looking at the thumbnail, people decide whether they need to watch the video or not. This is why thumbnail is one of the important factor to improve the SEO of your video. Now the question is how can teachers create good thumbnails who don't have knowledge of graphics. So I'll tell you a web service known as Canva in this video but before that I want to tell you that for teaching it is very important to keep the same thumbnail as of your production style. For example. If you see me right now, you can see this background is there and you can see there are some elements, correct? And I am presenting like this. So if you see all thumbnails of ET Mantra, they actually represent the production style of ET Mantra. So I try to capture the production style in thumbnail for one reason only. When somebody is looking at my video, they will obviously look into this background. And when they are looking into ET Mantra's video, which are coming in the recommendation on YouTube, so they will come with others videos as well, correct? But by looking into the image of that video, people will be able to identify which video is mine and which video is not mine. If someone likes my video, then most probably they will click on my video because they can identify that this is the same person who is going to talk in this video as well. There may be situations where you cannot capture your production style. For example, you can see learn by watch electronics video. The video type that we use is tabletop. In tabletop, a paper is visible. But if we put paper in the background of thumbnail, then it might not look very good. So what we did, we decided to keep same background for all of our videos. So we took a picture of Mr. Rajkumar Thenua, put that on a blue screen and then finally put a title which is visible on our all thumbnails. So you can do that also for all of your videos of same series you can use same picture or same style of thumbnails. This is why it's very easy for teachers also because you do not need to think about a new thumbnail whenever you are producing a new video. Now you know the importance of thumbnails so let me now tell you how you can use Canva to design good thumbnails. So why wait? Let's start. So when you visit canva.com, you have to create your account and after you create your account and login into canva.com, you will see this interface. As you can see, it's asking you to design anything and then you can try writing here whatever you want to create. For example, you can write YouTube thumbnail, you want to create WhatsApp post or something like this. It can also give you options to create stories or whatever. Similarly, you can search for Facebook related posts. So see, it will ask, give you options. And if you want to create something for YouTube, it will give you options to create YouTube things. So it actually allow you to create images only, not videos. Okay. So here on home, you will see this option and you will also see some thumbnails like create your design. What do you want to create? These options are given here. They are, these are some templates which you can use to create something. Then there are your designs. Whatever designs I have created, they are listed here. Then these are templates for Instagram post, templates for logos, templates for posters, for YouTube thumbnails for presentation so there are many options whatever you want to create using graphics you can create all of these things with the help of canva.com and it has a lot of templates available so you can also go to this template to see its library it's a long list of things see so zoom virtual backgrounds posters logos so uh, like i talked about zoom meetings you can create a virtual background for zoom meetings also so there are many things but we want to focus here on 
creating YouTube thumbnail. So what you will do, you will search here YouTube and you will get option for YouTube thumbnail. Okay. So there are intros, outros also, but we are interested in creating thumbnails. So we'll click on YouTube thumbnails. After that, you will see a lot of templates in front of you. You can select any of these based on your style of production or based on what you like or what you want to teach. Or you can start without a template also. You can either select a template by clicking on it or you can start without any template by clicking on create a design. And then you can say YouTube thumbnail. Just click on it. So it will open a page in front of you and you will see a blank design here. There is a blank page. But still it will recommend you a lot of thumbnails. Now you have option for filter. Click on this filter and you can select filter based on the color or language. So what I'll do, I will search for education. So you can see this music YouTube thumbnail, food YouTube thumbnail, beauty, tutorials. So most probably teachers want to go to tutorials. But you, we will see all like travel is there, all results are there. So what I'll do, I will either start with this blank or I can select one of the tutorial thumbnails. For that, I will see all tutorial thumbnails. So see, these are the tutorials thumbnails available. You can select one and start creating your thumbnail very easily. So for example, look into this thumbnail. I will select this. Thumbnails are which basically a pre-designed set of elements. So for example, this is an image and this is text. So this is, they are placed on top of each other. So their position, their font style, the filter applied to images are already given in such a way so that it looks good. Similarly, if I go to this, this, so here you can see there is a text, some small text, big text, then there are images, then some designs are there. So this element, all the element, it took you a lot of time to put them on, think about it. Okay, so for example, they have taken very small, small details. They have captured all small details to make this uh, thumbnail. So I am, this thumbnail I like the most among all of the thumbnails because it's uh, good in color. The text is visible properly, supports most of the teachers. So now this image is not relevant to the content that I teach. I may need to change the image. So what I'll do, I will go to photos and I'll search. A lot of image can be searched. For example, right now I am talking about thumbnails or YouTube SEO. So I will search for SEO. So you can see a lot of images related to SEO. Whenever you are hovering over an image, you will see this option, whether this image is free or paid. See this, most of the images are free, but you will see this dollar icon also in some of the images. You will see this dollar icon also in some of the images. This means you have to purchase it and the price will come when you hover it. So for example, this image is uh, of $1. So you can pay $1 and use this image on your designs. Similarly, you will see some images which comes with a premium Canva license. So you, if you have a premium can, Canva license, then you can use those images without worrying about paying $1 each image. So I'll select one image. So I like this one, but this is see, this is pro. Okay. So this means you have to uh, have a pro account or you can simply pay $1 for this image. So it's better to have a pro account if you are interested. So I like this also. This one is also good, but this is again dollar then pro. I want to tell you how to use. So I will select this free one and I'll drag it and I will bring it to this image box. So what will happen? It will show me how it will look in this box. I haven't yet dropped it. I will drag it and I will check how it will look on this background. See? So how this will look in the background. I can also see how this will look here. Okay? But I want it here. So I will place it here and then I will drop it because I like it. Now you can see this image has a lot of content, but only some of the content is visible. If you want to place your image in a better position, so what you can do, you can double click on it. 
By double clicking on it, you will be able to see the complete area and the cropped area of this image. Then you can drag and drop it. You can also resize it if you want like this. And then you can. Now I like it. After you are satisfied with the placement, then simply click on this done option. I'll click on done. And as you can see, this image is available. I don't like this because it is coming on the way. I'll put it somewhere else. For example, here. Ah, yeah, here it is good. Okay. It's basically your choice. And I will write a good title for this image, which will be if your text is not fit properly in the box, you can resize it also. Whenever you click on one element, but others is also selected with these dotted lines, this means that this is grouped. You can click on ungroup to ungroup these elements. So I'll click on ungroup. Now you can see all the elements are separate. So like now this is separate, this is separate. So I will write my name or basically I will delete it. It's better to delete this. And then you can write a small description here. It's actually up to you how you want to write it. If you don't like this image or default images in the search result, what you can do, you can also upload an image. So by clicking on this upload, you will be able to upload an image on this from your computer by selecting a image or you can also upload a video. Although video is not recommended because we are not going to use videos in the thumbnail. So for example, let us say if you like this image, you can put it here. Okay. So this is these are uploaded images. You can put them anywhere you want. So if you like some software's thumbnail, you want to use that. So for example, this is logo of the OBS. So I used it in one of the thumbnails. This is why you can see it here. I will put it here and then I will resize it and I will place it wherever I want. Like this. Correct. You can do these things here. Similarly, if you want to change the background, there are many backgrounds available. Here these backgrounds are given and you have to select one of these backgrounds. So I will select this one. See how it is looking. I can select this one also. For this particular thumbnail, I have to select a dark background. So I can click on this. See, I can click on this. Now let's look at the elements also. So what are the elements? Elements are these boxes, some icons, grids, shapes, frames, stickers, charts that you can use on your thumbnail. So for example, if I want to use so right now, this coronavirus is spreading. And if I want to use something from coronavirus, see this, these are given here. I will see all of them and I can use one of them. So for example, I'll use this. I'll resize it. I'll place it somewhere. And if I want to change its position, what I can do, I'll click here and I'll send it to the back. See, now it will be in the background. And I will then place it. See, is that it easy? Then comes the text. Text is an important aspect. When we selected this uh, template then text was already there but what if text is not available in that case you can add a heading a subheading or a body text by clicking on this so for example i will add a new page then i'll click on this heading so you can see the text will come here you can click on the subheading similarly this body text will also appear if you click on it then you have to place it somewhere according to your requirement then there are some font combination also. Like the templates, there are some font combination. You might like any of these and want to use any one of these. Then it's good because it's pre-defined style. So you can select any one of these. For example, if I delete them and I want to put this one here. See, I simply click on it and it will start appearing. All I need to do is change its text by double clicking on this text and then I can change it according to my requirement. Once you are satisfied with your design, what you have to do? You have to download it in PNG or JPG, basically some shareable image format. So for that, you have to go to this download, click on it. 
then you will see this option it will ask you what file type you want to select so you can select png jpg pdf pdf print so i will select png because it is high quality image you can also decide the size i you want it on the same size or you want to resize it to something so size is basically pro feature so the size this transparent background compress file all of these are features of pro account which you can't use with a free account and then it will ask you how many pages from your design you want to download for example right now we have two pages this page 1 and this page 2 how many pages do you want to download if you want to download all click on this and download so it will download two pages in a zip file but i want to download only one so i'll click on this i'll select this say so done and then i will download so it will now prepare my design and download this thumbnail on my pc see it is downloaded once it is downloaded you can open it to see if it is working properly or not see this is how it is looking now let's see how i make thumbnails like this so i'll click on this because this is my design you can see all of the thumbnails are here on this page as you can see in the beginning i was writing in small text but when i realize my mistake i make it bolder with the time i also select only the background rather than these other elements into my thumbnail i also change the shape see the this green area you can see this green area is little tilted while in the beginning i was using the straight ones so i realize my mistake while working then i selected white background in some of my video when i realized that i should keep different different style of text so now i am using black white black white based on the content i also keep the title very short so that the text is visible properly then sometimes i also put these small images previously i was putting this text towards the right but later i realized it's better to put in the between because whenever your video is shared on whatsapp a square image appears in the square image this if your title is in the in between of this image it will be visible otherwise it will be cut so later i change this also so this is how with practice with time and with the response of your viewers you will be able to select a perfect thumbnail style for your educational videos i believe now you will be able to use canva to make good thumbnails for your educational videos if you are doing it if you know some other tip please share it with me on the comment section of this video and please share this video with all your teachers because i have seen lot of teacher not using thumbnails on their videos thank you very much